our latest research indicates that successful and unsuccessful enterprising family systems really are explained by the extent to which they are growing financial assets over time, developing strong unity, and also developing the appropriate talent that they need to stay unified and be successful. Unity is important in any business, in any family, also in the ownership group. But unity doesn't always imply harmony. We would like in most humans, especially within the family, but even in their work group or their ownership group, would prefer to get along with people. But sometimes individuals and subgroups need to wrestle with important issues in a respectful way, but they are not going to be harmonious in the interest of helping the group succeed. What you do need, whether it's in the business, the family, the ownership group, is solid unity. And unity is about agreement or alignment about where we're going and our approach to getting there. The approach is sometimes called our core values. basically revolves around how are we going to treat each other, how are we going to treat important others, how are we going to work together and uh, strive together to get to where we want to go. This all derives from a, an understanding and appreciation of these three circles to build unity in each circle but also to build alignment and unity across or among the three circles. When you find um, enough alignment and commonality in where we want to go and how we're going to get there, you've got strong unity. If you can't build it, you need to recognize, and if it's too weak, you need to recognize the centrifugal force pulling a group apart and do something to either buy out or release part of the group so that you can be um, more unified because unity is fundamental to growth and, and uh, success.